Welcome to the Applied Biosystems Tech Talk video series, where we break down real-time PCR to make it easier for you. MicroRNAs, or miRNAs, are small non-coding RNA segments approximately 22 base pairs long that regulate gene expression. MicroRNAs can be quantified using Applied Biosystems TACMAN assays for real-time PCR. In a microRNA expression experiment, variations in the amount of starting material, sample collection, RNA preparation, RNA quality, and reverse transcription efficiency can contribute to quantification errors. For these reasons, it's important to use proper normalization controls when quantifying microRNAs. So, let's get technical. There are three types of commonly used normalization methods for qPCR microRNA analysis. You can employ endogenous controls, exogenous controls, or mean expression value normalization, also referred to as global mean normalization. Normalization using endogenous control genes is currently the most accurate way to correct for potential differences in RNA input or reverse transcription RT efficiency bias. The ideal endogenous control gene provides relatively consistent and moderately abundant expression with a variety of tissues, cell types, and treatments. MicroRNAs that are uniformly expressed can be used as endogenous controls. Several microRNAs have been shown to be expressed at relatively constant levels across many different tissue types, and they may work as well as endogenous controls for your analysis. But remember, no single control can serve as a universal control for all experimental conditions. Therefore, we recommend that you validate two or more microRNAs as endogenous controls for each cell type, tissue, or treatment. Exogenous controls, or spiking controls, are synthetic microRNAs that are added to samples to monitor extraction efficiency or sample input for difficult samples, such as plasma, serum, and other biofluids. A spiking control should be a target sequence that is not present in your sample. For example, ATH mir 159 a is not found in humans, so it is a good exogenous control for human samples. Large-scale microRNA expression profiling studies may employ global mean normalization, where the calculated mean of all microRNAs in a given sample is used as the normalizer. So, let's do a quick recap. There are three different normalization approaches, including exogenous controls using endogenous controls and mean expression value normalization. These normalization methods allow you to control for certain aspects of your experimental process when analyzing microRNAs with qPCR. For more information about miRNA analysis using real-time PCR, check out thermofisher.com slash TACMAN miRNA. Thanks for watching. You can check out more Applied Biosystems TAC Talk videos on our website at thermofisher.com slash TAC Talk.